Hello everybody, it is just after 9 in the a.m. It's a Saturday morning and I'm getting ready to go on a club ride. Absolutely pelting it with rain out there, but to be honest, once you get out in the rain, it's okay. Hopefully. Um, just before I start this video properly, I want to say a massive thank you to Sirocco for sponsoring this video. Kyle also got some kit. He's not here at the minute, but he did promise he's going to do a little catwalk in it later, so get ready for that at the end of the video. Um, yeah, they're sponsoring this video and there's a discount code in the description for you. This jacket, I mean, this jacket's in the sale. It's lovely. I've been wearing it actually. Fluffy inside. On the website, it's only £51 in the sale, plus you get 10% discount, so I think that's actually pretty good especially because a lot of cycling kit is really expensive so that's quite an affordable jacket really for when you think about the costs of jackets in the usual sense but yeah it's really nice so thank you Sirocco um so today I'm gonna do a video with some mental health tips because I think this time of year can be really difficult and if I'm totally honest this past few weeks I've just been not the best so normally when you see me on my videos I'm always happy and silly and that's because I'm on my bike and I'm enjoying myself and that's my happy time. I'm not a mental health professional anyway these are just things that have helped me. Um, I do have a degree in mental health nursing, I was a mental health nurse for three years before I had a blooming breakdown um, but yeah I'm no way a professional anymore so these are just things that help me and hopefully they can help you too. When I'm out on my bike is the time when I can have fun and just forget about anything going on, on in my head and that's what I love so much about it but I think that's the important message I want to give is that a lot of the time the people that we least expect to be struggling are struggling and I think that's why it's important to always check in on all of your friends even the ones that seem the happiest because sometimes they're the people that behind closed doors are the lowest. No way by any means am I struggling loads like I'm so much in a better place like it's taken counselling it's taken a lot of things to get to where I am now but I still struggle and it's okay to admit that and I think we all we're all going to struggle it's not possible to be happy all the time but yeah I'm just so grateful that I've got cycling and my lovely club that I'm going to go and ride with in a minute but yeah I thought it'd be helpful to share some tips with you because I think yeah hopefully it can just help just want to say as well before I go um obviously if you are struggling please 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 go and get professional support like talk to somebody don't be afraid if the first place you go to doesn't work go and ask somebody else like don't give up on yourself your mental health is so important and you deserve to get help so never be afraid to talk about it and never be afraid to go and get the help that you need right then i'm about ready to go and i've just been faffing around trying to fit some blooming mud guards on my bike second pair of mud guards they don't blooming fit so i've had to message the bike um the club ride leader to check if i'm allowed to come or not because it's blooming raining and i've got no mud guards and he said, yes, you can still come and just stay on the back, so I'm in. Um, I'm going to do like a 40-minute ride solo before the club ride just to get my miles in. Um, and then I'll be on my way. The rain's stopping already, so I'm already happier. Now, my first mental health tip is about worrying. Now, if like me, you have millions of thoughts flying through your head, and it feels like you're freewheeling down a hill and you've got no brakes, just remind yourself that 95% of your worries never come true and no amount of worrying can change what has already happened or what might happen so just remind yourself worry time is wasted time now it's a lot easier said than done but that's what I try and remind myself when I was struggling a lot setting myself a 10 minute worry time really helped so 10 minutes maximum write down or speak out all the worries that you've got just let them all out and then if you've written them down throw it in the bin because there's nothing we can do about them sometimes if there is a worry that you can do something about then do it but if you can't do anything about it just tell your overthinking mind there's nothing you can do and try 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 just to enjoy your day because I've spent so much time worrying about stuff that's never ever happened so yeah tip numero de is the importance of sleep for mental health is so important we need to be making sure we're getting around well it's advised that we get six to eight hours a night but that you know if you go to bed with only six hours left you're not going to be falling asleep straight away so just make that time to make sure you get enough sleep the last two weeks i've been going to bed half an hour earlier and I've actually found it really, really helpful. I go through phases of not being able to sleep, but at the minute, I've got a good sleep method going on. What I do is go to bed with a nice book, read for half an hour and go to sleep. 
that's the plan on most nights. There are some nights where we're watching a good TV programme and we're like, oh, one more episode, but I try to be strict with it. And I definitely feel better when I've had more sleep. So don't underestimate the importance of sweet slumber. Next tip is to get some outdoor time every day because it's just so good just to get outside without distraction. So for me, every morning I take Chesty Bow out. We go on like a 45 minute walk and I don't, well I take my phone just in case of an emergency, but I have on aeroplane mode in a zip up pocket. I don't um, look at it at all. And I just have that time just for me, outdoors, just looking what's around me and just enjoying it. And I think that's what I love so much about cycling, just being outdoors and in nature and yeah, so if you can get some time outdoors every day, even if it's just literally 10 minutes in your lunch break, just walking around the office that you, outside around the office that you work in, or in the morning, 10 minutes, get up 10 minutes earlier and just go for a little walk before work or after work before you have your dinner, just make that time for outdoors and have that time without distraction. I'm at the club ride now, and the next tip is don't isolate yourself. So even if you feel like keeping yourself in, staying at home, you don't want to see anyone. I think you always feel better when you push yourself to go out. Obviously there's some days where you just, if you're really down, you can't go out, you need some time on your own then, take that time. But the majority of the time, push yourself to go out and you'll feel better when you come back. Got these lovely fellas to ride with today. Yeah. Hey. I have had to apologise for my lack of mud guards, but I did ask Steve and he said it was okay. Yes, you can stay on the back. It's the oh, first God. day of the mud guard rule coming off. You wouldn't believe hey. it. Woohoo, we're on the road. Along we go. Already got better spirits for being in company and it's raining, but we don't care. We really are drenched now. <laughs> My next mental health tip is do something nice for someone that you care about. Even just a little gesture like giving a compliment or buying them some flowers if you can afford it, buying them a coffee. Because research shows that when we do something nice for someone else, not only does it make them feel good, it also makes you feel good too. So yeah. Let's spread a little happiness. Remind yourself that thoughts are thoughts, they're not facts. So when your mind is telling you, you know, you've done something wrong or putting you down, just remind yourself they were just thoughts and they're not facts. So try not to put yourself down, boost yourself up and remember that we just have one life and you are an amazing person and just live your life and enjoy yourself and don't let negative thoughts stop you from enjoying your day. Nearly at the cafe. <laughs> Some people think the only reason I've loving rides for the cafe, but honestly, it's not. I that's do just come that's to the all chat. You've said. The cafe, the cafe. <laughs> Porridge. Right, we're in the cafe now. I'm just going to say, very impressed. No rain on the jersey, so it is waterproof. I can confirm because we did come through some quite a lot of rain, didn't we? Yeah, so, it's quite a bit of rain yeah. today. You're a bit jealous of my jacket, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Mine's soaked. <laughs> but I'm a bit jealous of his hot chocolate. See the size of this? Marshmallows and everything. I miss that. Yeah, I went for blooming water. The next mental health tip is to every day. I know every day might not be a good day. We always have bad days. Thank you. Porridge okay. um, We always have, every day is not good. Like we all have bad days, but even on the bad days, it's always something good to focus on. There's always something you can do to lift your mood. And I always find, as long as I'm not on a rest day, it's important to rest. Just moving yeah. your body a little bit, like going for a walk, coming out on a ride. Never even if it's just it. like half an hour ride. It's you never regret it, do you? Exactly. You no. never get back and ever think, yeah. oh, I wish, wish I didn't go out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like I looked at the weather this morning, I thought, plumbing, I don't know if I can bother. Yeah, <laughs> but now I'm like so glad I came out. Because I was going out with the club, it tied yeah. me into coming out this morning. Yeah, yeah exactly. Whereas normally I would have just stopped in bed. Yeah, exactly. Orange is here. Oh, look at this delight. Steve, have you got a tip for us? I think you're looking at the tip now. Just get what, out. You? What? You're the tip? No. <laughs> <laughs> Um, basically, just yeah. get a Steve and you need a Steve. It sounds like tip, but it's not quite. No, if, if you look around you, it, this just makes you feel good. Just be out with your friends, just enjoying what you do, um, being in the moment. Yeah. It just makes such a difference. It just lifts your spirit and it's great. It is. And yeah. now I'm going to be in the moment of enjoying my porridge. Right. Thanks, Steve, for zooming in. There. No, don't zoom in too much on my face. Someone told me I need my teeth chiselling down in a comment yeah, earlier. You've got a fat face as well. <laughs> well apparently I've got a fat face too, so, you know. Anyway, um, <laughs> um, the next tip is don't be afraid to let your inner child out. We only live once. 
life's too short to be serious all the time so just have a bit of fun every now and again i know you have to be serious sometimes like when i'm in my finance job obviously it's serious faces but you know it's too life's just too short so what i say is dance on top of blooming hills and if you're feeling low at home little tip whack some music on have a dance around the kitchen if you've not got a kitchen hopefully you, hopefully you have so you can cook but dance around wherever you've got because it does make you feel good so <laughs> steve can we get a dance from you today no pete <laughs> No, no, I'll fall over. Come on, Pete. Pete, come on. Very good. Yes. Much appreciate Oh, we're going to let across the crossing. How lovely. Thank you very much. This year, a closed road, but not for the cyclists. Checking for the trains. Come on, Pinny. How lovely. That's my ride, ding dang diddlyo. 43 Maloney today, feeling so much happier than I was this morning. Honestly, I was in a foul mood last night. Um, foul mood this morning. And now I feel so much better. So it just proves what just getting out on your bike can do for your mind and for your body. So yeah, I'm happy. Um, Going to spend the afternoon taking Chester out on a walk and cleaning Pinny because she needs a good clean now. I'm just looking at her. Bit dirty, so gonna give her a clean and then get ready for Kyle's catwalk when he gets home because he promised me he was gonna do it, so I'm looking forward to that. For one night and one night only, it's Kyle the catwalk model. <laughs> I'd like to say this outfit is the three S's subtle, smooth, and sleek. I did used to be a model back in the day, but for Greg's. Ooh. <sighs> <laughs> Get back.